Hello, everybody. It's Vertical Sandwich, uh, and it's time to do Reality 2.0. I've actually played through the rest of this game now, so, uh, yeah. Fun stuff. This one, uh, this is the critically acclaimed, uh, this is the critically acclaimed episode. Like, this is the episode that, uh, get, has the best, like, Online, I don't know, reviews. This definitely is a gamer's episode. Like, without a doubt. Um, it's all just references to video games. And the internet. I certainly still think, having played through the whole game now, I still think uh, the, la the last episode we did was the best. Although, part of that has to do, I think, with that song number. And the whole note to smother you with a pillow thing, which, ugh, fantastic. I like the no hands driving thing. Okay. Unrest in the Dakotas. Dispatch equal numbers of giant battle robots to all sides. Whoever survives, claim we backed them all along. Illegal immigration. Let the new guys pilot the giant battle robots. Criticism that your domestic policy is too giant battle robot based. They can take it up with my new press secretary, the Mametron 9000. If that's the guys from Air Force One, tell them they get the keys back once they say the magic word. Quiet, Max. It's the commissioner. Total collapse of the economy and downfall of Western civilization? Great grinning head of John the Baptist and a pork pie hat stuffed in a rhinestone bowling bag. We're on our way. We've got a computer crisis to take care of, little buddy. Have they tried turning it off and back on again? Bigger than that, Max. Computers everywhere are going haywire. Planes are falling from the sky. Nuclear reactors are nearing meltdown. And scores of pasty white nerds will be forced to go outdoors and socialize with normal people. The horror. Where do we the start, Sam? The National Consortium of Smart People who are good with computers has been tracking electron surges all over the country. And one of the biggest is right here in our neighborhood. What an unbelievably convenient coincidence. How do we find an electron surge? No idea. Let's go. No idea. Let's go. Love it. All right. Uh, there's nothing in the office, I don't believe. However, we uh, can open the closet door. And as you'll see, we have the president's severed head, and Leonard is what we kept. Hungry, Leonard? Give us a present scan. It's present. Give me that one. You're going to come in. Okay, maybe later then. All right. So, uh, Leonard kind of had that coming. Hello, Mr. Vice President. I'm sorry, Sam, but I have a re-election campaign to think about. And let's face it, you are not a hit with the aquatic voters. All right. Mr. Spatula is now Vice President, Mr. Spatula. Because he can't logically, you can't drop the Mr. from a fish's name. Once you name a, a pet Mr. something, that's their first name, Mr. I don't know. I have no idea. I don't know. My last pet's name was Bitey, so... She was a cat. I love that cat. All right. So, uh, let's go to Sybil's. She's a beta tester now. Hey, Sybil, have you... I'm surrounded! Lightning bolt! Lightning bolt! Stand back, Max. It sounds like Sybil's finally cracked. It's about time. Her relative stability was making the rest of the neighborhood look bad. Back, pit demons! With Sword of Righteous Fire, I cast thee away! This is just like that time we were hired as motivational speakers for that Sunday school. Actually, now that I look closely, it's I like more that. like our last case. And the three before that. If there's one thing I've learned to recognize recently, it's a hypnotic device. And those weird glasses are it. Launch stinging BBs of unholy smiting! To break her out of the trance, we'll have to deliver a blow to her head. You know, Sam, when you love what you do, it doesn't even feel like work. Okay, well, naturally, your thing to try would be this. Back, 
demons cast ward of pungent unsavoriness. I can't get close enough to touch her, Max. Back, demons! Cast ward of pungent unsavoriness. Okay, so we can't knock her out by touching her. We're gonna have to, you know, figure out another way. That's not a problem because that will be answered by our trip to Bosco's. Woo, Bosco's! I do like Bosco's. Does anybody even know what Bosco is anymore? Like, the actual brand name, like, syrup? <laughs> Used to be a thing. Newspaper office's coffee machine empty for a third straight day. That's some hard-hitting local reporting. I guess the reporters are having a tough time adjusting to life without the internet. Lincoln Rampage ends with colorful mushroom cloud. There's one way to put a positive spin on it. Majority of DC area is still uninhabitable. At least some things never change. Fair enough. I have never been to Washington, D.C., so I would like to go, but only to see the Kermit the Frog and the Smithsonian. That's the only reason I would like to go to Washington, D.C. Some of the monuments would be cool, too. National Mall, the whole thing would be nice. So, let's see what's going on with Bosco. Oh, my God. Hey, Bosco. Greetings and well met, friend watchman for hire. Sam, how come I suddenly have a primal desire to beat Bosco savagely? Because he's talking like a Renaissance Fair attendee, Max. It's an innate fight-or-flight response. I am El Bosco Drill, the unhinged, mighty half-elf ranger. Okay, why'd you become an elf? Okay, Bosco. While Max prepares the Thorazine, why don't you tell us why you've become an elf? Half-elf, and I'll tell you why. I've had multiple delivery conspiracies, I've had missiles aimed at me, and now I got rival arms dealers setting up shop in my store. Point being? It's not safe for me here anymore. I gotta take my business to the only place I can feel 100% secure. The internet. Okay, what does the internet have to do with elves like we don't already know? What does this internet do, Hickey, have to do with being an elf? Half elf! <laughs> it's because everyone on the internet has to pick an avatar, like a dwarf or an orc or a hot young 15-year-old girl curious about the adult world and willing to experiment. I didn't think it was possible, but he's actually less creepy as the elf. Half elf, fool! <laughs> ah, never mind. You guys don't understand how computers work. I like he only has one elf ear on. Uh, we want to buy something. We want to buy something. I have the finest goods in all the land. Tell him we'll pay him just to stop talking like that. What would Squire care to purchase? Do you have any dual core processors with 512 megabyte cache? Nay! Do you have any chimpanzee sized diapers? Nay! <laughs> Do you have any barbecue plankton chips? Nay! Do you have any keychains with a plus eight modifier to dexterity? I wish. <laughs> Very nice. Do you have any self-respect? Nay. Ha <laughs> ha, tricked you. No, I understood the question. I understood it all too well. Oh. You sure do know how to suck the fun out of everything, Bosco. <laughs> I love this game so much. Do you have any Lombos? Tis stale. Do you have any dual core processors with 512 megabyte cache? Nay. Okay. What have you got? What have you got? Oh, not much. Just a virulent biological weapon. All right. Biological weapons? We don't like to judge. Speak for yourself, Sam. But isn't germ warfare a little on the south side of ethical? I've got to compete to stay in the market, guys. If an arms dealer is going to open up shop in my store, I've got to up the ante. All right, how much for this virulent biological weapon of yours? One billion dollars. We'll take it. What's another billion or so to the national deficit? I'm sorry. For safety reasons, I no longer accept cash in the store. You'll have to pay online. That's pretty inconvenient. Thank you. <laughs> I always like that. He's like, that's pretty inconvenient. He's like, thank you. On second thought, nothing for us now. As thy wish. But don't blame me when you're stuck in the torch wasteland with nary a bag of enchantment 
to defend thyself. So weird. See you later, Bosco. To the battle! Godspeed, defenders of the Sire! All right, so we got to talk to Jimmy Two Teeth. Well, if it isn't our favorite ethically challenged rat, Jimmy Two Teeth. Sam was wondering where you'd scampered off to. I'm touched. I was wondering what embarrassing pose we'd use when we had you stuffed and mounted. Yeah, yeah, I'm scared out of my wits. You's gonna buy something or what? What's a two-bit crook like you trying to sell this time? I'll ignore that petty insult for the sake of a successful transaction. I'm selling the latest in interpersonal defense. You're an arms dealer? You make it sound so cheap. I deal in peace of mind. Okay, so, uh, yeah, what have you got in stock? What have you got in stock? Yeah, right now I only got this cannon. You guys look like you should just start out with handguns. We've already got handguns. Oh, yeah? Where? Just trust him on that one. <laughs> How much for that cannon? It's not for sale. Worst arms dealer ever. <laughs> it's not for sale to you guys. I don't sell to the police. Call it my own ethical code. But we're just barely police. Yeah, I seen how you guys work. I sell it to you, and next thing I know, the bunny's got it pointed right at me. Okay. Um, he won't sell it See to us. See you later, Jimmy. So, Maybe, if you can find me. What we have to do is we have to hit him with the boxing glove, and then he'll shoot the cannon at us, and then while he's reloading it, we have to hit him again. It's actually kind of hard. It's the only, like, hard thing you have to do in this entire game. Hands off the merchandise, pigs! Ooh. Yeah, see? I mean, he's really Ooh. quick. And, like, I have a lot of trouble with this, but we will get to see Sam get shot a whole bunch of times. Hey! Hands off the merchandise, pigs! Damn it! Ooh! There we go. Nice stack! As president, I resolve to address the nation's rat obesity problem without delay. Let me out of here! Oh, we'll let you out of there soon enough, Jimmy. Soon enough. Alright, so now we have something to shoot Sybil with that won't kill her. Uh, so, when we come back, uh, shooting Sybil in the head with a rat. Yeah! Uh, you guys take care, and bye everybody.